going to be a quick video on the wall sit, which is essentially, some people call it the wall chair. Essentially, you sit with your back against the wall uh, and you make the, sh you, you, your body looks like a chair. So your back is like this, your legs are like that. And well, your legs are like that, sort of like a chair. Uh, it's one of the best isometric movements you can do for the legs, for the thighs, the quads specifically, and your core too, if you really, if you really focus on the core while doing it. Uh, one of the reasons you can, I sit in this position all the time without a wall behind me, is because that's an advanced motion, that's an advanced, uh, I'm sorry, uh, version of the, of the motion, of the movement. Uh, Again, it's a great workout for the thighs, but you'll also make sure to, you also want to make sure to work the back of the legs, the calves and the hamstrings equally. But for now, since a lot of people have asked me how to do this, well, it's simple really. Uh, this is the wall here, and uh, so you get into position here, and you simply... Simply make a chair. Now your thighs should ideally be parallel to the floor, but when you first start, you may want to start this way. It's it's a lot easier. Then as, as you get better, you go down uh, and you hold this position for time. You keep your back straight. You can leave your arms like this. You can hold them out like that. There's plenty of different ways you can do this. This will make your legs shake like this when you first start trust me and they'll make you very very sore super sore uh, that's how you do it now you want to work up to at least 30 seconds initially and then you go for longer a minute a couple of minutes just as far as long as you can go along with that remember to do the other stretch that i showed you this morning this because it really stretches the uh, entire quad region out very well. And you do it against a mattress. You don't necessarily need to do it against a hard a cement wall. The advanced version of the wall sit is simply you do it, or one of the advanced versions, <sighs> is you do it without a wall this way, which is part of the Mabu stance, the horse, the, the horse stance, okay, and you keep breathing deeply, you don't hold your breath while doing any of this, okay, that way, and that's a great movement too, and uh, I believe I include uh, this in isometric and flexibility training, uh, my initial book on isometrics. But this is a brief video on uh, how to do it. You can do it either with shoes, I'm doing it without. I prefer working out without shoes because it, uh, it taxes your toes, it taxes your feet, the ligaments of your feet. And in general, you, you get a better purchase on the ground and it's more natural. That doesn't mean I... <laughs> I'm telling you to go barefoot everywhere. It's up to you. Although, when I used to climb hills, high hills, a lot of Chinese people did it too, I did it too. I used to climb barefoot. But you'll want to make sure you do that in an area where there's no glass or other shit around, you know. So we'll end up with, uh, uh, we'll, we'll do the wall chair and breathe deeply. Oh, another one, you, right now my legs are like this, right? My feet are like this. You can point your feet ahead too, so this way. See, that way. These really strengthen the thighs, the, even the lower back the hips 
but mainly the quadriceps, the, the, the thighs. Okay, so from Mr. Exhausted after, uh, that was a tough workout yesterday that I had, I only live streamed like 20% of it. <laughs> you can tell from my face, huh? Um, but that's a great, great, great uh, isometric for the legs. I highly recommend you do it and get better at it. And uh, that's it. I'll be back soon.